This is the silver vault from Excel. There are two options for silver vault. Option number one, handspring over the mat stack. And option number two, quarter to half on repulsion off to the feet, landing facing the mat stack. All vaults have a 10-0 start value and the emphasis is on body shape. Runway is 70 to 80 feet long, one inch thick, no chalk permitted. Tape or Velcro is allowed. Failure to remove the board is a chief deduction after warning. Hand placement mat not allowed. Boards may use springboard or alternate board maximum 15 inches high. The surface may be coil, spring, or a trampoline bed. The vault is performed over a mat stack. Okay, no tape line required. Height is between 24 inches and 48 inches. The panel mat may be placed on top for a former surface. A curved front allowed, but is not required. And we see it pictured here. All equipment and mats must be manufactured by a recognized equipment manufacturer. Time warm up per gymnast is 45 seconds. Each gymnast is guaranteed two touch warm up vaults. Total time per squad is determined by the number of gymnasts in the largest squad. Balk. Three attempts to complete one or two vaults, same or different. One balk is allowed without penalty. The second or third balk is a void. What is a balk? Okay. A fall during the run, athlete stopping mid-run, athlete stops on the runway, athlete contacts the board or mat without support of the mat stack. A fourth attempt is not allowed. Okay, what happens if there is no signal from the head judge? The vault is not scored. The gymnast may perform two more vaults for a total of three attempts. Five tenths is taken by the chief judge from the average of the next completed vault. Spotting, on landing, five tenths, okay. Aiding the vault, one point with a maximum spot of 1.5. But remember, coach between the board on the mat or leaning on the mat is no deduction. These are first flight deductions. Flex feet is up to 0.1, legs crossed, up to one, legs apart, up to two, legs bent, up to three. And as far as technique, neutral head, which we want, is 0.1, excessive arch, up to three, and excessive pike, up to five, which we kind of see here. And we certainly see the head out. These deductions are taken in the first flight and the second flight. Legs separated, up to two, Legs crossed up to one. Again, we're looking for neutral head up to one. Knees bent up to three. Now these are deduction in all three phases of the vault. Failure to maintain stretch body position, arched up to three tenths, which we see here. And again, in all three phases, piped up to five tenths in all three phases. And here this gal is in the first flight she is piked, uh, as you can see, 103 degrees. Complete pike would be 90 degrees. So she's pretty close to that up to 5 tenths deduction. In the support phase, the major deductions include bent arms up to five, which we see here. Too long in support is up to three. For XL Silver, there's no deduction for contacting the mat stack after vertical. Note that both of these deductions differ from the similar deductions in level three. Okay, and then we have a number of landing deductions. Each step is 0.1 to a maximum of 0.4. In other words, you can go running off, that still is 0.4. A large step, which is three feet or more, is up to two. And we have a new deduction of small or medium steps, which is 0.1 or 0.15. If the silver vaulter does not land on her feet first, there is a two-point deduction, which includes the fall. Silver vaulter lands on the max stack in a sitting or lying position after passing through vertical. Deduct two points plus 0.5 for the fall. Landing deductions, a slight brush 
or touch of both hands on the mat is up to three, insufficient dynamics up to three, deviation from a straight direction up to three, and fall against the mat stack is five tenths, uh, which we really tried to show with the subsequent videos that you'll see. And these are landing deductions, and this is new. Uh, there's a zero deduction in the first picture. And once we get to the third and fourth picture, we have 0.2 to 0.3. Void vaults. And that's if the gymnast never achieves vertical and just returns right back to the board or the mat. Uh, lands on the mat stack between the board and hand placement. Okay. No hand contact with the mat stack. Any vault with more than a quarter turn in the uh, second flight phase and performing a second or third vault. Exceptions, failure to land on any part of the bottom of the feet first, silver vaults receives a two-point deduction, which includes five-tenths for the fall. Silver lands in a sitting, lying, or standing position on top of the mat stack. After passing through the vertical plane, deduct two points plus five-tenths for the fall for 2.5. And happy judging silver vault. Thank you.